Hey, this is Ryan with Bolt GLP. I wanted to give an example on how to set up the pin. Uh, this is the version two pin of a auto injector. Very common, each click is a unit. So for example, 10 units right here. And see that it will push the stopper down on the inside and it will dispense 10 units. So to take this apart, simply just pull it apart like that. And then you want to twist this off. And then let's set it aside. I advise that you clean your environment up as much as possible if you're gonna do this for research purposes. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to load this so you get an idea of how all this works without having to describe it on text. I pre-filled this with one milliliter of bactostatic water. And what we're gonna do is whenever you take it out of the package, you can see over here, the stopper is, the stopper's at the bottom. So when you take it out of the package, basically use like the tip of the needle with the plug on it and you push it all the way to the end. Don't worry about the air. And then basically, once it's pushed to the end, we then push this in. So you can see how simple it is. I'm using a huge needle. So you, I mean, you can do this with an insulin one if you want. All right. You can see that the liquid is in there and there's a tiny bit of air in there. Well, the stopper won't go past this spot right here. Um, the air will help the remaining of the liquid get out of it. So once you're, once you're done filling it, stick it in like that. This thing, make sure it's out. Otherwise you're going to find a few times where the, uh, stopper is going to have to be primed. Basically just twist it on. It should be easy. It shouldn't be sideways. Nothing. Don't, don't force it. Um, and basically we're going to, we're going to prime the thing. There's no needle on it, so it's not going to inject anything. I'm just going to move this up to uh, 30. And then you can see that we're moving it. I don't know. Let's just, let's just push it all the way on until it's good. Okay. And then don't go too, too hard on it. You just want to get it right where it stops. See? Okay. I'm going to twist this back down. This is here. Then when you're ready to dispense, basically just pull this off. And then twist this end on. It will stop firmly. Make sure that it's not sideways, nothing. You'll damage it if you force it on. Okay. This cap just pulls right off. You can still see that the needle is still protected. We're going to slip this back over. Okay. You can see that the protector is still there. We can simply just pull that off. There's the needle there. So let's say that you want to do, you want to do, you want to do 20 units, okay? Okay, make sure that it stops on that and doesn't go any further. You would uh, press it against the area so that it goes in and then you want to push the button. So you can see here that it is dispensing at that point and it's going to dispense 20 units, okay? There is one milliliter in this. So there is 100 units, okay? We got to stop there. So basically each time that you do use this, um, you want to pull the old needle off. So you simply just screw it off. And then for good practice, you of course want to put the small stopper back on so that it doesn't jab. Any and then find a safe way to dispose of it. And you're good. And that's how to use this thing. It's very simple, very easy to use. You just twist to the dosage, whatever. And uh, remember that if you're changing the cartridge,
pull it out. Boom. Slap the new one in. Make sure that this is at this point. This can be twisted out. Grabbed and twist. See how it's not. It feels weird, but it went on. And then store in the refrigerator. And that's it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Take care.